Dave, I know Gooing is a solid shank company, drills, end mills, various other things, but this is completely different, isn't it? Absolutely. What we're introducing today is a product from a company called Holfelder, and Goering bought Holfelder um, probably 10 years ago now. And uh, they were a company that had a, 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 a good close relationship um, from, from, from the, both the owners, they were, they were friends in business, and there wasn't a lot of competition between the two because the products didn't, really didn't overlap. And um, when uh, Mr. Holfelder decided to retire, uh, Goering bought the company and it was all um, brought within the Goering Group. They had a lot of totally unique products and uh, within face milling, within boring and um, other associated type of equipment. Although they were an inserted company there was no general or very little general ISO inserts. They were all uh, specific inserts manufactured by themselves for uh, various applications. And they didn't really sell outside of Germany to, to any great extent. They had a, a small pocket of a business around the world. So by bringing them into the Goering um, brand, they were able to be sold throughout all the other subsidiaries around the world. And this is obviously a boring head. Mm -hmm. Is it an accurate boring head? Absolutely. Uh, that's really where it's designed for. Um, you've got a situation where you can bore large diameters accurately. And because of the, the, the unique design of the head itself, you're able to retract the head from within the hole and not leave a score mark from within it. If you look at it within from there, it's 170 degrees. So the beauty of that is there's a slight clearance between it, so you're able to, to, to bring it away and bring the, bring the head out of the hole without actually scoring the line from it. That's a good idea. Yep. But what is the accuracy? If we, if we look at the bore hole accurately, what's the best we could achieve? We have, a, um, again, a, a lot of the accuracy with any piece of equipment is actually within the presetter itself. What the ability of the head itself is that, that you, can, you can actually adjust it to within, um, it's actually got an adjusting screw on each insert and that adjusting screw, one complete turn is 20 micron. So the beauty of that being within it is that, that you can in, typically be able to hold any proportion of that dependent on, in a lot of cases what we have found to do and, and with a lot of other systems um, you need to take the tool off the machine to actually set it, run a cut, bring it back again and set it again and, um, and this continual process. The beauty of the actual uh, hole folder head is that you're able to adjust it on the machine because it's, and that, but through, through the unique uh, micro adjusting system. How does that work, the adjusting system? I've got a, a small model here that shows uh, how that works within it from there. Um, it's, a, it's a tapered screw mechanism and the basic idea being is that would be representative of the insert. It's got two cutting edges so you can, you can drop that in from the one direction and then take that in and you've got two from there. So you've got two cutting edges. You need to make sure that the actual uh, the tapered screw is flush or, or, or above the actual insert when it goes in. It's very small to see, you can just about see it on the end of the, um, from the back of the insert itself. So you actually lock it in place with a preset torx key. So you'd have a preset torx key that would, 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 would torque that insert down and um, it's got like a prism shape in the bottom so it actually locks the insert into the corner. So with a preset torx key you lock that down. The taper effect then works from the back of there. You can just about see the, the movement of the two lines, so that shows there. One complete turn is 20 microns. So quarter of a turn, obviously five micron. So quite simply from that. And being able to work it from both sides, you can obviously equal it out and it works very well. And because it's uneven, we can rough and finish with the same tool? Potentially, yes, absolutely. That can work along those same lines as well. It is, again, something that can, can work for certain applications where the, you have a requirement. I mean, with most boring operations, uh, sometimes you always find there's a certain amount of push-off from whatever the tool would be. So the beauty of that is you can actually hit it twice, which can help. Definitely. Yep. This is a highly polished insert. Does that mean we can only do aluminium? Not at all. Uh, depends. There's a, there's, a, there's a big there's a big range of inserts that are available. You can also work within PCD as well. So the 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 uh, or CBN. Uh, again, one of the other benefits of, of of having that as a standard insert is you could do all your existing setups and roughing um, with a uh, a carbide, and then your finishing process with PCD. So you can mix and match the the actual um, materials.
And I know a lot of competitors' product, they've got like a captive, their own IP on the back end, but that yeah. looks like a... HSK. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've got HSK back end from there, so it's quite adaptable, as would be. Um, you could have it on an extension, as I've got here. So the, the, the beauty of that, as would be, you could have that working through. The right key would help. And of course, you can put any length of extension on that whatsoever, and you've got the accuracy. You're continuing the accuracy from the HSK, the, the taper and, and uh, face contact that you've got. You're continuing that through from it. Uh, it also runs with um, through spindle coolant, so you've got the, the, the ability to be able to direct the coolant to the cutting edge, as would be, and you've also got balancing screws as round as well, so you're able to pre-balance it as well, as it would be, obviously, to be able to, to, to run at whatever speeds. It's an impressive need. solution. Is it supported from the UK? Absolutely. Uh, we have a, a product manager, um, generally the name of Eugene Nugent, who will be supporting that. Um, we, we stock these products in the UK, we stock, we stock the inserts as well. Um, we've got the ability to hold all spare parts and ship spare parts. And uh, as and when required, um, we have support through from Germany, from, from um, Holfelder as a company.